Well, all right. That's the. That's Osa. I'm Walter. Welcome to the Hotline of Diecast. It really should just be Oso's show. You've reached the hotline of Diecast. How may I direct your call? Dude, the farm. The animals run my life. But uh, but hey, appreciate you guys tuning in and riding along. Um, if you read the title... Uh, you're, you're probably here for uh, for the war report, and we're going to get to that. But but damn it, I have a diecast channel. We're going to talk a little diecast. Although this one's a little different, and I've been sitting on this for a minute. I've been sitting on a lot of things for a minute. In fact, I started this in the middle of doing another video. So pardon me. I want to celebrate a casting with you guys that I just really love, and and. Damn it, if I was prepared, I'd have the casting. One sec. Casting retrieved. All right. And so, I mean, and I want to, I said celebrate, because I want to celebrate this casting, because I think it's really cool. It's definitely not a licensed car. It's um, something created by someone who really contributed a lot to Hot Wheels, especially in the recent, and I mean, you, you JDM boys should celebrate them. Uh, I celebrate them. All of us, all of us collectors should celebrate them. And that's the difference of making you a collector or not. I think I bought this casting because I'm a collector. And I have an affinity for ducks. And so does my daughter. So I'm talking about the duck and roll. This particular one is the most recent release. And that designer, pardon me, was Ryu Asada. And he passed away uh, from cancer, unfortunately. And uh, I look back and I have pretty much every casting he ever had his hand in. And so that says a lot, you know, I couldn't say, I couldn't even say the same about Larry Woods casting. So that's, that's huge. And, and I think this is just such a cute quality, well thought out casting. It's fun on the track. It, I've bought a number in the past and I've given them to people because I, I know some people, Jeep people who are into the duck, duck, Jeep, all that, just a super fun casting. So I'm going to run you guys down the gauntlet real quick. The first one to hit the market. Boom. 2020, the street beast. Your traditional looking duck, yellow. They backed it up with that lime green. Second release. And Ryu was still with us there and and, and that time. And uh, in between, and he was also still with us for, pardon me, the third release which is the first installment of the Glow Racer. So the Glow Racer I just showed you wasn't the first one. That's actually the most recent one. And he had since had passed when they released this one, the Duck and Roll from Street Beasts and Gold, which happens to be the treasure hunt for the G case. What, 2021? Was it 2020? 2021, I believe, but cool casting. And then, like I said, the um, the one I showed you that was loose is actually the most recent. That's the one on the bottom with the shades versus, I guess, they're probably two pairs of shades. Just, just cool, cool castings. I do love it. I do love it. Better on the track. Look, it's like my little dude's mouth with excitement as to find no... Wait, I stopped the whip, didn't acknowledge it I figured most of these styles, I godfathered it That's godfather shit, words be my only hollow tip That moment, like I could stop time Well, alright, welcome to the war report This is a bit of an unsanctioned one, it's uh, breaking news No, it's not it's just community hobby talk, really, is what it is. But I am um, I'm, I'm a YouTuber, and, and I'm, I'm proud of it, and I, I really enjoy the responsibilities that I get to carry with being a YouTuber. And I'm going to compare myself to a magician right now. Because one of the other magicians, other YouTubers, just 
A, reveal the gauntlet of tricks that are going to cause a lot of problems, first of all. And I have examples of these problems for you. Um, and, uh, yeah, and, and, and this YouTuber is Sean Nicholas. I, I watched him when, you know, when he first started. I mean, dude, I'd be flat out, he's a noob. He's been around a couple years, maybe, there. Um, he started off by gifting cars on the windshield, and that kind of got him his platform and took off from there. Um, gifting, you know, the same model cars on the windshields and so on and so forth, and that was cool. Um, so and so forth. Since then, he's just, I, I, I've just watched his channel in between then before I decided to give up on it. And he was just uninformed. So he's just giving out bad info and he already had a following then. So it just, just wasn't fitting. In. And in fact, kind of inspired me to work, make sure I was working harder on my channel. Well, then we fast forward to today. Um, I'm on YouTube and, and I don't subscribe to him, but Hot Wheels is in all my algorithms so uh his his most recent video had come up and uh well we should just kind of watch it together i think i might we do that that way you guys can hear and not distinguish it you know and have your own distinguishing points but let's do that let me volume down let's see you look up this item to see if you guys got it in recently He's calling Publix Grocer. Yes, it's a Hot Wheels single car, but I have the EPC code. Looking to see when their boxes arrive so that he can show up on time and get stuck. Yes, I was wondering if you could look up this item I have. I have the EPC code. Struck out at the first store. Like if you guys got it recently. Alright, I'm ready to go with you. It's 270841201013. The Hot Wheels. Yes, the Hot Wheels I wonder singles. if you memorized the UPC. When's the last time you guys got the uh, delivery of that? And here's where you the listen. The have not, like, are up to date on it, so the last delivery we got was August 1st. August 1st. And does it say next to it if there is another delivery date for coming in soon, or does it say three days unknown? It says three days unknown. Three days unknown. Significant. Okay, thank you. I appreciate your time. Yes, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye. So... I want to give you guys a second to try to catch and see where the fault is here. The fault is he already knew the verbiage that would identify that the box, the shipment hasn't quite arrived. Now it could easily be from previous calls. Maybe he has done this a billion times before and he, he knows what to expect. But at the same time, I believe he actually works at Publix. This is what I think. And I think this because well, if you guys, if you guys did watch this whole video, and I don't know if I, if we started off at the clip where he said, you know, what you should do is you call stores. This is how you, this is how you find the supers. We're, we got to watch the second one. Okay. Okay. I'm able to find it. Sorry. No worries. Uh, appreciate you looking. Thank you. Have a good day. How did dude go check right, the back? So I had the guy go in the back. I look like he set up his camera as if and he to let us know he got it. in the car. So I had him scan the Hot Wheels, and I guess the lady was completely wrong that I called. She said it came on the 9th yesterday, but the last delivery, I think, was the 23rd. And the next delivery, it does have a scheduled date, is 9-13. So September 13th, we got to come here around noon and hopefully get into that sealed case. All right, guys. All right, bros. How do we go from calling to having that manifest, shipment manifest on your phone? I don't take any pride in, like, calling this poor critter out, man. But it just, it's terrible. I'm, I'm pretty upset. I'm the magician who's upset that he, A, is not allowing us in the community to learn some facets of our hobby as you grow and as you go along, you um, call it in snowboarding, skiing, earning your turn. Sometimes you got to hike to get the good stuff, you know? So I'm bummed on that. But mostly I'm just bummed that 
this is that Stockholm syndrome that I spoke about where the cap, you know, the, the captives fall in love with their captor, you know, because you've been held hostage by this person so long, you actually develop a care and a feeling for them. And totally mask over the fact that this person just took you out of your element, you know, and uh, normally a good reality. So, uh, so yeah, I'm not telling anyone to not watch that. I mean, ever, dude, this is America, or at least in, definitely in my state, stay out of my freedoms, I stay out of yours. But, but I, it got to a point where I had no problem sharing, not putting this dude on blast, but sharing and giving you guys an alternative view. My bad, bros. I almost forgot. Um, here's what happens when you call stores too much. Family Dollar, Darby, Montana. It's been like this Thank you for, calling Family Dollar. for, English, for at for least a couple online, years. Or for Spanish, press 4. For our store hours, press 1. For our store address, press 2. If you'd like to speak to a member of our store team, press 3. Forever busy signal. Um, and I think a lot of times when you watch a content creator like a Sean Nicholas, and he's just opening boxes at Walmart and at Publix and so on and so forth, it's pretty disheartening to the rest of the community. And the, the, the rebuttal is going to be, I've got 50... Are the collectors in town? It's high. I've seen enough. Uh, I've seen a spreadsheet of content. I don't I haven't watched all the videos for my own reasons, but um, you're not hurting, bro. And I know, uh, or I don't know, but I, I do know Mattel had sent you some boxes for a while, and they're probably not send you anymore for those reasons. A lot of reasons they won't send me a box too. You know, I'm not saying I'm, I'm above and beyond. You know, uh, but. You have a responsibility, and and don't think I'm targeting you. I, 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 if I have a strong opinion, I feel strongly enough to where I'm going to share it. I'm sharing this, but you have a a, a very large following. Um, I know you have other YouTubes that support you as well, YouTubers, and that's awesome. That means at some point you were doing something good. This is just tacky, bro. Just tacky. And mostly, hopefully, you'll learn that you exposed yourself, and that'll be the learn from this. But, hey, I, I'm, I'm sending all you guys watching those full peg vibes. Really appreciate you guys tuning in and riding along. Probably didn't like what you hear, but if you like the idea and like the ideal of the channel, hit the like button. If I'm not in your channel lineup, hit the subscribe button. It won't cost you a thing. I invite you to be a channel member. Uh, you know, channel members are, are entered to all giveaways and... Uh, as well as get some early viewings of videos and 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 um, some member only videos as well and or you can go above and beyond you can support the channel by purchasing a t-shirt this does help support the channel trust me i only get a percentage of the dollars to go to that can that go towards the channel these aren't my t-shirts it's a partnership i have with bonfire and uh but at the same time do you notice a large contribution and 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 that's just huge, huge. I like what I'm doing. I hope to keep doing what I'm doing. I hope you're doing what you're doing. Sending those full peg vibes your way. Appreciate you. I'll let you boy. Peace.